guys, it's Bastion time, and welcome to Zelda News. I'm your host, Bastion. This whole episode is basically going to be devoted to a very interesting and informative interview that Mr. Eiji Anuma, the executive producer of the Zelda series as of late, gave um, with, I think the magazine is called Edge Magazine, and he revealed a lot of interesting tidbits, both about the upcoming games, as well as just his personal feelings about Zelda in general. So let's get straight to it. First of all, he was talking about how um, he sort of feels like Link is one of his children. He has biological children, or maybe just one child. Um, but he was talking about how while he was making um, uh, Twilight Princess, uh, he was out walking with his kid, and he had his iPod or iPhone headphones on, and was listening to the main theme, and he just started crying because he felt like, he felt kind of nervous for Link and his adventures, all the dangers that he'll be having and so on. Kind of like how a parent feels when they're sending their kid off to college or whatever. Um, so he was, you know, scared for Link out there in this uh, new world of adventure. Um, so he says that he doesn't really feel like he himself is Link, but that he's kind of like, Link is kind of like one of his kids. So that's kind of interesting. Um, one of the other things that he talked about was the fact that uh, the 3DS game, um, a Link to the Past 2. We still don't know what its title is yet, um, but that that game, um, it does have the Dark World in it, which is something we already knew, but a lot of people speculated that maybe the fact that Link is that new ability where Link is able to turn into a drawing, that maybe that is somehow linked to the Dark World, and he confirmed, yes, that is the case. He didn't elaborate, so we still have yet to see how exactly that works, but it is interesting to find out uh, that, yeah, that's somehow connected to the Dark World. And then one other thing that he said about Zelda 3DS that really struck me as interesting is that in the opening sequence, something that there will be a big surprise. Um, that something will happen in that opening sequence that will shock us. So I wonder if that is related to the drawing thing and the Dark World thing, because, I mean, you'll know that at the end of A Link to the Past, the Dark World is basically no more. Uh, the Dark World only existed because Ganon was in possession of the Triforce, and, uh, and so he created the Dark World from his evil wishes or whatever, so it can't exist in a sequel, but yet somehow it does, and somehow that has something to do with the drawing thing, and and so anyways, it'll be interesting to see what this opening sequence, big surprises that he's talking about. Um, and then he mentioned something interesting about Zelda Wii U. Not, not the uh, Wind Waker uh, remake that's coming out first, but the next Wii U Zelda game, which they've already been working on for quite a while. He said that that mechanic, the... Uh, the surprising um, thing of Link turning into a drawing for the Link's the Past sequel um, is reminding him of the fact that there are several things that he thinks will surprise us about Zelda Wii U. Uh, he didn't elaborate, of course, <laughs> on what that is, so we'll definitely have to wait for quite a while, I'm sure, to find out about that. I doubt they'll be talking about Zelda Wii U at E3. They'll want us to focus on Wind Waker Wii U, um, so I think it'll be about a year before we have any of that kind of information. One final thing that Mr. Numa talked about in that interview is that he kind of feels like maybe he's only got 10 more years left in his career, and that he feels like since he's been working on Zelda non-stop since Nintendo hired him, um, because, you know, as a game approaches its end of development cycle, they've already started on the next game. There, there's no rest for him, really, and so he's not had a chance to work on anything else besides Zelda. I mean, usually there are at least two Zelda games 
in production simultaneously. Right now, there are three. There's the Links of the Past sequel, uh, Wind Waker Wii U remake, and then also Zelda Wii U. So he doesn't have any time to do anything else uh, professionally, and he really says that he feels like what he really wants to do is to be able to create a brand new game that has nothing to do with Zelda, but that he doesn't think that's likely to happen because there's just no time for it. He would actually need to drop out of the development cycle for whatever game is currently being worked on in the Zelda series, and he can't really do that because he's the executive producer for the Zelda series, so... Unfortunately, I hate to break it to him, but it, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. But he also said that even if he did go forward with this and somehow drop out of the development production team for six months or something, that whatever game he would make would probably still be very Zelda-like, because his number one influence, he says, is A Link to the Past. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's probably pretty unlikely that he's going to get a chance to work on anything else but Zelda, so I hope he's okay with that. But anyways, that's it for this episode of Zelda News. See you guys tomorrow for Nintendo News, two days from now for a regular episode of, you know, fan-made stuff Zelda News. See you then, guys. Bye.